dreams inspire us. They can drive us forward and motivate us to engage in creative acts, to write a poem, write a script. Dreams are rarely literal, but they can be literal. They can help us to free us up of some of the entanglements of waking life to give us a sense of clarity about something as well. Sleep is still just a big mystery to us to begin with. As much as we know about sleep, we know even less about dreams. And I do feel that one day we're gonna unlock that mystery, but the main problem with dreams is I can't touch it. I can't record it. I can't say, here is my dream. It's very, very subjective. But what was a game changer when we talk about sleep medicine is discovering REM sleep. And I think that put dreams in the forefront. Because we said we always dream in any stage of sleep. But we realized that when we get into REM sleep, those vivid dreams that we can remember sometimes, just because we don't understand them doesn't mean there's no purpose for it. The dream that I had took place in the stable. Lord knows why. So I'm going past horses within their individual spaces in the stable. And it was probably like maybe six of them. And I'm passing each of them. And then I get to the last stable and there was no horse inside of it. I opened it up, but I couldn't see it. So I went inside and I noticed some eyes. I recognized the eyes. The feeling that I have was like my mother. Dreams don't necessarily operate in a linear, uh, rational, fully understandable way. We can return back to the dream many years later and interpret it in a very different way because it's alive and dynamic. One of the roles for dreams could be problem solving. There's no hiding that vivid dreams occur in REM sleep and REM sleep is essential to memory, cognition, and overall well-being. When we start to fuse things together that shouldn't normally go together, it sounds like the basis of biological creativity. And that's exactly what we're discovering when it comes to REM sleep dreaming. This sleep-inspired creativity has been seen throughout the course of human history. For example, the two Beatle tracks, Yesterday and Let It Be, both came to Paul McCartney in terms of dream inspiration. And of course, not to be outdone by the Beatles, each night, Keith Richards, he would go to sleep with his guitar and a tape recorder. And then one night he woke up and he found that the tape had run all the way to the end. So he rewound the tape and he says, there in some ghostly image with the opening chords of the Rolling Stones' most famous song, Satisfaction, followed by 43 minutes of snoring. A lot of people don't know that my mother had passed away about 10 years ago, and I had been trying to find some signs, to, you know, just to get some closure from her loss. The horse was like a large Mustang, but their eyes felt like my mother, like I was looking at my mother. The whole entire horse was green, and it scared me out of my dream. And I just knew right then and there, I felt my mother through the horse's eyes. Now, it's not just that you dream, it's also what you dream about. If you teach people how to learn to navigate a virtual maze, and then you give them a nap, or you have them stay awake, Firstly, those people who got the chance to have some sleep, they showed improvement on the maze when they woke up, unlike the people who didn't get the sleep. However, if you then go and separate those people in the nap, according to those who were dreaming, but dreaming about the maze, versus those who were still dreaming, but not dreaming about the virtual maze. It was only those people who were asleep, but who were dreaming about the maze itself that showed the memory benefit in terms of the maze navigation when they woke up. Those people who didn't dream about the maze, they didn't show the memory benefit. It's not just about dreaming itself, 
It's about dreaming of very specific things. So perhaps if you're having work dreams and they're frustrating you, don't worry because you are giving some kind of advantage to your company. Maybe you should even start billing for those hours that you're asleep.